Hi everybody, this is Julian from RC. In this video, we're going to continue exploring RC Cloud. This is video number four. Uh, we've already done model deployment, model merging, model continuous pre-training in the previous video, so go and, and watch those. In this one, we're going to focus on a very important step, which is usually one of the last steps you, you will run when you're uh, tailoring models. And of course, I mean model alignment where we're going to teach a model how to follow instructions and set the tone of voice uh, for, for the answers. So here we're going to align a, a LAMA3 model on a reasoning data set. So let's get started. In the previous videos, we started from the user interface. Uh, in this one, we're actually going to start from the notebook because I want to show you what a, uh, an instruction data set should look like. Okay, so we're gonna do just a tiny bit of data prep just for the sake of it. And then we'll jump back to the UI and we'll come back to the notebook to run uh, the same operation with the Python SDK. All right, so um, we're gonna grab a data set from Hogging Face uh, and let me, uh, let me open it. It's actually an RC data set. It's called Reasoning Share GPT okay and as you can see so it's got about 30,000 rows okay and as you can see uh, we have a question right if a die is rolled three times what is the probability of getting a sum of 11 okay so problem solving and then we have the the golden answer um, step by step uh, showing reasoning so number one understand the problem okay so rephrasing the question uh, to make sure we're working the same on the on the right thing then step by step how to do this and just work our way through the answer okay and there's a little bit of everything you have math and you have you have some code create a c++ program that connects to cassandra database blah 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 right and you can see the the format is always the same understand the operation and then step by step resolution okay so pretty cool stuff going to use this one okay um, so of course we need a couple of libraries um, right now we need the data sets library from hogging face to load this data set okay so let's make sure it's installed that's the data set name we can load it and print the first example in the data set right that's the one we just saw okay so it's fine, um, but it's not in the right format. Uh, what we're looking for is just uh, two columns, right? One column called question, one qu column called answer. Okay, so we need to extract the question here, put it in a, in a column, and we need to extract this and put it in a column, okay? And then we'll save everything to a CSV file and upload that. Okay, so there's just a tiny bit. That's typical of you know what you should do, right? Uh, create a pandas data frame from a dictionary, okay? And the dictionary has just two keys, questions and answer, and just make sure you extract the right thing into question and the right thing into answers. That's about it, okay? Um, shouldn't be more difficult than that. And so now our data set has the right format, one column for questions, one column for answers. And we can save this to a CSV file, right? And just because we're curious, we can open this. All right. And it is a funky CSV file because we have very long rows, but it is a CSV file, right? So that's what we need to do, okay? So either uh, you have that already, okay? You already have something with just a question, just the answer, and you can put that in a CSV file and that's fine. Or you have maybe a hogging face data set or something else and you need to format it that way, okay? So once we have that, uh, great. Uh, we can switch back to the UI and launch the alignment process. So in the UI, the first thing you wanna do is to upload the data set we just created. So go to the data sets tab, create fine tuning data set, give it a name.
give it a name. So I'll just use the same name I've used before. Okay. In the UI, the first operation you want to run is to upload the data set we just created. So go to the data sets tab, click on create, fine tuning data set, give it a name and there's just point, just upload the CSV file. That's, that's all there is to it. Okay. So I've already done this. We see it here. Okay. And that's pretty much what we saw on the hugging face hub. Okay. Uh, yeah, you could delete some some rows if you wanted. Like if some some are buggy or unwanted, just you could go and edit that a little bit. Okay. So next, go to training, fine tuning, uh, create fine tuning. Okay, and I'll just use digital demo align. Uh, grab the data set we just uploaded and select the model to fine tune. And here you'll see all the models. So the, the off the shelf ones and the ones you have created. So for example, we see the uh, energy flavor of Llama 3 that I created in the continuous pre-training video. Okay. And that's probably what we want to do anyway, you know, align this model. So here I'll just take, yeah, maybe I'll take a, a base, um, yeah, Llama 3.1 model, why not? And click on create and fine tuning. And you can see there's this option here. By default, we're going to run a full fine tuning. But we could also go with a parameter efficient fine tuning. Okay. Um, and in fact, why don't we try this? Create fine tuning. Okay. So training type path and Click on start and off it goes. Okay, so it's gonna run for a few minutes. And uh, so I'll pause the video uh, and, uh, and then we'll deploy it. And I guess we'll test it. Fine tuning is complete. And now we can go and deploy this as usual. So click on deploy, create deployment. and go find our fine tune model. Yep, this one, create deployment, wait for a few minutes and we'll be able to test it. All right, let's see how we can do this with the Python SDK now. So we start from the CSV file we created and we can upload it uh, with this API, upload QA pairs from CSV, which takes uh, the name of the data set, the path to the CSV file, the name of the question column, the name of the answer column. All right. So once we've done that, we can launch the alignment process with the start alignment API, right? So alignment name, name of the alignment data set, name of the model we want to uh, align. And uh, here I'm passing a model from Hugging Face, right? So you could go and fetch a model um, that lives outside of RC Cloud. Um, you could also use one of them, right? Um, there, that's a different parameter. But here I'm downloading uh, Llama from uh, Hugging Face, and you can go for a full fine tuning or parameter efficient fine tuning. And this time I just went for full, okay? Uh, as a side note, uh, with a free account, uh, with a free tier account, you can run PEFT. I think you can run five um, five PEFT trainings a month, if I'm not mistaken. Please go check out the uh, the um, please go check out the pricing page. Uh, the full f uh, alignment operation requires uh, a commercial account. Okay, so feel free to change this to to PEFT if you want to run it for free. Okay, and then it runs for um, about 20 minutes, as we can see here. Maybe a little less because I am iterating every five minutes. Maybe it's 18 minutes, right? Um, and now we can deploy it. Okay, and we've seen this before. Start deployment. Check the status with deployment status. 
And once the model has been deployed, we can go and uh, prompt it. Okay, so write a Python function to load a dataset from Hugging Face. Why not? And we see the step by step, um, I hate to say reasoning, because um, I don't think that's what it is, but okay, let's call it reasoning. So breaking down, you know, what the model is actually, uh, you know, op doing, and it's very, very detailed, and then it's giving us the answer, right? Uh, which is actually wrong, because of course, you know, so it should be import datasets, not import transformers, okay? But it's interesting to see um, the different steps. Uh, and, you know, feel free to go and try, you know, math questions or logic questions, whatever. You know, it should work. And when you're done, okay, don't forget to release resources and stop deployment, okay? Okay, well, that's what I wanted to show you on, uh, on alignment. And as you can see, all it takes is an instruction data set. It's not difficult to build. It can be as simple as a CSV data set with two columns, question, answers. That's easy to build. Then upload it to RC Cloud, launch, the fine-tuning process, uh, either uh, full fine-tuning or parameter-efficient fine-tuning, which you can run for free for uh, for the free tier, and then um, deploy the model and test it, right? And that's probably uh, the last operation you would want to run on your model before you move it to further evaluation and hopefully all the way down to prod, right? So keep watching those videos. There are more coming. And until next time, keep rocking.